Welcome back everyone, it's me Hamid Al-Ammari aka The Qattari Guy Yep, The Qattari Guy, how are you? Very Qattari today and I'm back here again in ILQ HQ for another weekly event roundup So this weekend a load of events, one of them, my wedding! I'm getting married on Friday, this is... That's not the wedding song Yeah, that's a wedding song. There you go. Okay, this is a male only wedding. It's opposite College of the North Atlantic. Come celebrate with me, my holy matrimonies. I'll see you there. Thank you. Pick up me. I'm getting married. So, tonight at the the with the Ritz, I keep mixing them two up. It's at the Ritz. The St. Regis is a very posh place, so I'm not sure they have the reggae stuff. But in the in the in the Ritz Carlton, they have the finale 2013 beach pool party. I thought Global DJs did the finale thing last week at Intercontinental, but maybe the finale is tonight, and then the other finale is next week, and then the next finale for 2013 will be the week after that, and then it's 2014. Okay, so Ali and Fila are in Doha. <gasps> they're number 20 in the world. 20. Okay, and they're in Doha at Marriott tonight. Link, more information, go. So, I am wearing jeans and a t-shirt today, and that is because I'm feeling sporty. I know it's not the right sporting attire. Yes, I'm wearing a hard hat and I'm wearing a helmet. <coughs> Cheers. But if you want to be in a World Cup, this is huge. You get to play in a World Cup representing Qatar as a five-a-side. Go on to Legacy Sports and Events, the link, and in association with Duplays, uh, they're putting it all together. The link is down there. Hammer. Check out the link. Okay, I'm not wearing my ghetra and I'm really missing something on my head. So I'm going to keep this on for the remainder of the episode. Deal with it, people. I like the hat. Makes me look good. Now, told you about the football, but there's also another sporting event that's raising money for people. Run for a cause at Aspire on the 14th of December. Run, people, run. It's not gonna hurt you. Might hurt, you might kinda, but run. So, a lot of things are happening. National Day is coming soon on the 18th of December. It's a public holiday, but the National Day Committee is putting together a load of stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do on the link. Hang on, I need to take this hat off. You okay? Don't think he's okay. So, the link down there has got a lot of stuff for you to do. But in Katara, they are putting together a play that you really need to check this play out. It is absolutely amazing. It's happening tonight until the 15th. And you can buy your tickets in Virgin. Uh, go there, check it out, buy the tickets, watch the play. It's like phenomenal. It's about Salah al-Din Layubi. It's just go buy the tickets of Virgin and come to Qatar and watch the play and then enjoy all of the other stuff that Qatar is doing for National Day on the 18th and the 19th and again link below about all the stuff we've got a special link for here I love Qatar because we do love Qatar that's it from me this week Hamid Al Amari unfortunately I'm going to be missing for a while because I'm getting married and when you get married it is uh, you know you gotta go so I'm gonna go but I'm gonna be back Okay, but comments. They see me rolling. Okay, so I asked you guys to comment, and my favorite comment was from uh, Jasmine Meyer. She said, Karak, the unofficial, official Qatari national drink. And then she got trumped by Abdullah Al Meri, who said, more like the official drink for kidney failure. Boom! Ouch, Abdullah, nice one, straight to the body. But the best, the best comment that got me laughing a lot was Hamid Al Thani or Karak in Arabic, that's better than Karak in English, or as I call it, crack is crack. <laughs> it's not crack, just because you're addicted to it, don't mean it's crack, okay? You know, like. It's Karak, maybe, you know? I want, you got that Karak, man? Please, baby, give me the Karak. Mm. I'm gonna go get my Karak. 